So you, you can't address your weaknesses unless you're candid about them. And you have to be candid in exploring them. I mean, you just can't improve anything until uh, you've honestly assessed it, you know? Uh, and, and I think that what's really striking about championship organizations and championship people uh, that it, it struck me over the years is, is just how honest they are uh, with themselves and each other. Uh, there's no, um, you know, there's this phrase locker room talk Locker room talk that I've been around, um, it, you know, it's mistaken for crudity and stuff. There's a real emotional honesty at work. Uh, Pat Summit told me once that um, there's a language that teams speak when they're getting ready to win the big one. You know, she could feel it in her locker room. And I said, well, you know, what does that sound like? Um, and it sounded like emotional honesty. Uh, you know, they, they were willing to admit their weaknesses, address them work on them, you know, make improvements. Um, they, they didn't have a lot of vanity, you know, championship teams uh, were just very emotionally honest. And uh, I've always, I've always uh, admired that about, about the winners that I've covered. Uh, they don't tolerate yes men and yes women. Okay. Uh, they're, they're very interested in critique and self critique. But the other thing that's interesting about the candor in a winning locker room or a winning organization is that it's always married to very clear explanation. The difference between a winning coach, a great championship coach and um, a, a bully and someone who's just trying to impose their will on others um, is that they always marry their criticism to solution. When you do this, we are great. When you do this, we're not so great. But when you do this, when we do it this way, you're great. So they don't just criticize, you have to play better. You know, like I, you know, a good editor doesn't tell me you have to write better. They say you're better when, you know, you pay as much attention to the bottom of the story as the top and, uh, and your middle is weak here and you could shore that up with more material. Coaches present you with hard fixes, right? Not just criti not, not criticism. They don't just praise and blame, they explain. Mm 